Hello and welcome to Abraham Lincoln High School Friday Night Lights. We are here to watch the matchup between the Rail Splitters and the Tottenville Pirates. Here with me, as always, we've got Adam Caljean and Neil Reich. Take it away, gentlemen. Good evening, fellas. How are you doing tonight? Beautiful night for football here in Brooklyn. Thank you again for tuning in all over on YouTube. We always appreciate it. Uh, it looks like Tottenville uh, won the toss and is going to receive. On a lovely night for football here at Abraham Lincoln High School. It is a beautiful night out. The lights are shining bright. It is 55 degrees here at kickoff. And Tottenville has two men at the 10 yard line ready to receive. The referee has just blown the whistle. And the kicker is going to kick the ball. It's up. It's a line drive kick. Takes a Lincoln bounce back down towards the end zone. Uh, re received. And he's got some room to run. He might be gone. He's got. See if we can catch him here. It looks like Lincoln. We got one defender, and he turned on the Jets. He's gone. He is gone. Quite a start, number two for Tottenville High School. End to end, down the left side. It's about a 95-yard touchdown return by Tottenville. He had quite a convoy going down that left side. Cut off, sealed off the whole end. Yeah, it looked like at one point he was kind of in a little bit of a scrum, but then he just kind of burst right through it and pretty much went end to end untouched. So after their 46 to 0 uh, drubbing of Fort Hamilton last week, Tonville again coming out 6 0. 1 and 4 start. Let's see how this goes. All right, so they were lining up to take a kick, but now it looks like there was a timeout called on the field. Both teams huddling up on their respective sidelines or close to their respective sidelines with their coaching staffs. And Lincoln's going to be looking to try to stop a possible two-point conversion. They were lining up to kick, so let's see what they do when they come back out. So the last time these two teams played, I believe, was a playoff matchup to end the last season. Tottenville came out on top, so Lincoln certainly looking to get a little revenge here this evening. So after last week's 70 to six Totten um, Lincoln win over Bayside High School, coming out a little slow today. Let's hope the offense comes out to field with some energy. All right, so it looks like they're gonna try to kick. Uh, what referee blew the whistle. Holder's looking for the snap, makes the signal. Ball's up, kicked through the uprights, and it's good. So that makes our score 7 nothing to start the game. As Lincoln goes on offense, some of the names we're looking for, Adam, as always. Number three, Emmanuel Nicholas. Our quarterback, number six, Nashim Dees. Yes, certainly looking for Dees to come out and set the tone for a successful first half here. Playoff seating at stake here for both teams. The winner of tonight's game will see themselves moving up in the standings a little bit and securing a better seed in the playoffs. So Lincoln has their receiving team on the field. Two players on the 20-yard line waiting for the kick. Lincoln's wearing their black uniforms, this blackout uniforms this evening with the gray helmets and gray numbers, green outlines, lime green outline around the numbers. Totten Bills. Coming out to kick now. They're wearing their white jerseys, purple pants, and purple numbers, white helmets. 
And they're kicking towards the north end zone, and there goes for an onside Five kick, and then it's it's fumbled, and Lincoln... Waiting for the ref's call. Waiting Lincoln's for... Ball. Could go, it's Lincoln's ball. Very good. Okay, so the receiving team did their job. Lincoln comes out uh, just in Tottenville territory. They're going to get the ball um, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And hopefully coming out looking to strike fast. So, Adam, let's look for the running backs once again as we've so effectively run the ball over the past couple of weeks. Well, hopefully that's dominating the defensive line of Tottenville. Certainly how you set the tone for a football game is being able to run the ball. We have uh, three wide receivers to the left. Dees has just received a shotgun snap, hand the ball off. And there's a little running room there. Left side for Sion Filbert. Nice run. Number 11, sophomore running back. Let's move the chains. Nice run off tackle. And good movement. Hurry Looks up like offense. Lincoln's right back up on the ball, as they should be. They have a lot of success with this hurry-up offense. Dees is waiting for the shotgun snap. He's got two wide receivers to the left. He's going to take the ball, keep it himself up the middle, and he's got a little bit of running lane. Looks like he picked up about nine yards on the play. They're going to give him ten yards on the play. Take down by number 55 linebacker, Tonville. All right, so two plays, two first downs. Lincoln's moving the ball well into Tottenville territory. So they continue the hurry-up offense. Again, two wide receivers on the left side, one running back. Waiting for the shotgun snap. Got one running back. He's going to keep the ball himself to the left-hand side. Penalty on, the, on play. the play. Uh, looks like this is going to come back. Holding on the offense. Yeah, usually holding when it comes through that part of the field, and that was the call. Okay, so two steps forward, one step back. That'll put us at first and 20. Hopefully we could make up a little of that ground we just lost here. All right, now the referee's given a, a full description of what happened. They'll walk the ball back. Okay, so first and 20. Tottenville shifting on defense, kind of deliberate, don't know what they want to do. They're trying to draw Lincoln off sides, possibly. I've never really seen this kind of defense. Very odd. All right, quick snap pass to the left-hand side. Number five, Zechariah Daniels. Oh! Nice play by Daniels. Way to make people miss. All right, looks like they're not moving the chains. Okay, so that's going to bring up. Looks um, like second down and about six. Second and six. Bunching up receivers to the left-hand side. Now we have somebody in motion to the right. Dees takes the snap, inside hands it hand off, off, inside handoff. Another flag late. So I think it comes out with some pretty good energy. A lot of really good plays on the first two plays of the game, and now a couple penalties. Mixed in a decent run there, or catch. Looks and like it's on the defense. Catch and run. All right. So that's going to be enough for a first Face down. Mask. So that is going to bring up uh, first and goal from the 10 yard line. D's just got the call from the sideline. He's signaling to his offense. Looks like he has one wide receiver to the right. Two wide receivers to the right. He's going to take the snap, Inside, hand, hand it off up the middle. Gain of about three yards on the play. Bring up second and goal from the four. Hurrying up still, Lincoln offense. Moving the wide receivers back over to the short side of the field. Now bringing them over to the wide side of the field. Dees is in the backfield waiting for the shotgun snap. He's got one running back to his right-hand side and full start offense. 
maybe a little bit too much movement there pre-snap and trying to make too many things happen. Okay, so our quarterback can not only make great plays on the field, he's also tying one of the running back shoes. It's the upperclassman taking care of the underclassman there. Snap, ball snap. He's rolling out to the right. Looks like he's going to pass. He's got somebody in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. Ball is going to be kicked. Again, line drive kick. Taking a Lincoln bounce. Received at the seven-yard line. And this time they're going to get him down. About the 35-yard line of Tottenville. Starting first and 10. For the first time, we pulled the Tottenville offense out. Yeah, both of these offenses had decent performance last week. Let's see if the Lincoln defense has an answer for Tottenville tonight. So number 15, flanked by one. Yeah, ball snap, quick snap pass over the middle. Right on the hands of number 11, but dropped. Fantastic might, route and pass. Might have let him a little bit there. Don't see number 11 on their roster. Right. Tottenville's back up on the ball. Lincoln's on the ball, their defense ready to go. They have two wide receivers to the left. Quick hand off to the right hand side, off tackle. Gain of about seven yards on the play. Ran right between the ta tackles, bounced right outside. Seven yards on the play, like you said, second and three. Looks like they're moving the chains. So it's going to be first and 10 at the 45 yard line. Excellent bounce by the running back. So we got two wide receivers to the right and a little miss. A little miscommunication on the play for the offense there. They're still able to turn it into a positive play. About five yards on a broken play. Number 15, quarterback Tottenville. Looks like there was some type of miscommunication. He circled out to the right-hand side, and all the running backs went to the left. Some pretty smaller sized skills, skills position players all towards the Lincoln sideline here on the offense's left hand side. Ball snapped. He's back to pass. Throwing it down the sideline. Oh, Great the catch. Receiver made the adjustment back to the ball. Great catch and adjustment by the Tottenville. Looks like. Roughing the passer. Okay, so that's going to give them very good field position. They're going to have the ball first and 10 from the 18 yard line. Sounds about right. Looks like first and goal. Oh, so it's now, yeah, it's a lot further out than that. Yeah, so it's going to be first and 10 from the 8-yard line. After the roughing the passer for 15 yards combined with the catch. Again, good defense by Lincoln, just good cover, um, reset. Full snap, shotgun snap, handoff up the middle. Lincoln's gobbled him up, kind of got him in a scrum. Nobody's going down on that. that Referees blew the whistle. That Tonville offensive line seems to be pushing us pretty well down. So now they're going to come out with uh, two wide receivers to the left, one wide receiver to the right. They have a shotgun snap. Ball's handed off to the left, off tackle. Nice cut back to the middle, and he's in for the touchdown. So it's going to be a high-scoring affair this evening in Coney Island. Those offensive lines are taking each other over, running left and right. 
Yeah, certainly a lot of movement by both offenses. So they're going to go back to kick. Currently have a 13 to 6 lead. Back to kick. Sig the holder gives the signal. Ball is up. And it is good. So the score is 14 to 6. Tottenville in the late stages of the first quarter. So it seems like those inside handoffs are working for Tottenville. Yeah, a lot of quick action right off the line of scrimmage. Drop back to pass a couple of times and success on one of them. Let's see how Lincoln responds. So the Tottenville kicking team is coming out onto the field. Lincoln's already there. Already there. They have um, two players back to receive on the 25-yard line. It looks like number four, Ronaldo Lewis. And number three, Emmanuel Nicholas. I'm sure either one of them would be very happy to get the ball. Again, another onside kick. This one rolls to the sidelines and then out of bounds. Lincoln will take over. First and 10, looks like it's possibly gonna be 35 yard line. Looks like it's the 33 yard line. So first and 10 from the 33. Tottenville coming up onto the ball for their defense. Lincoln offense huddled around the coaching staff on the close sideline. So they're breaking out of their huddle. They'll get right up to the line of scrimmage and get right down to the play. Looks like they're going to have two wide receivers to the left. A lot of two wide receiver sets tonight. Two tight ends. D's waiting for the shotgun snap. The referee is having him remove a bracelet of some sort on his wrist. And now Lincoln's going to get down into the offense. D's is getting ready to make the call. Ball snap. Quick handoff, right off tackle. Gain of about four yards on the play. Number 11, Cyan Filbert. Off the right side. For about four yards. All right, so we're up on the ball again. Dees has Filbert to his left. Two wide receivers to the left. Three wide receivers to the left. Quick handoff. He's back to pass. Dees has got the ball up. He's got a receiver in stride. He just overthrew Nicholas. Just, just, just overthrew him. Great effort. Great effort by Nicholas. He almost had it. So they went for the home run. Let's see what they dial up here on third down. So it's third and a long five, possibly six. We've got three wide receivers to the left. And I think it's Filbert in the backfield with Dees. Waiting for the shotgun snap, ball snap. Fake handoff to Filbert, and D's going to keep it himself. Almost enough for a first down. Let's see what the refs do here. Looks like they might measure. Oh, no, they're giving them the first down. All right, so we're moving the chains. D's looking over to the sidelines, get the play from the coach. 
Looks like we're going to bring the wide receivers over to the wide side of the field. Ball's placed on the left hash. D's waiting for the shotgun snap. Looks like they might be audibling on this play. So we've got three wide receivers to the right. One running back to the left. Ball snap. D's is back to pass. Quick pass. Dropped by Nicholas. Gotta watch the ball into yourself. And then that looks like it's going to be the end of the first quarter. With the score, Tottenville 14, Abraham Lincoln 6. All right, so it looks like we're poised for a lot of action tonight. Always happy to see that on a Friday night. So the referees are walking back to ball to the other side of the field and we'll reverse the field at this point. So if you're Coach O'Connor, what do you say? I don't know, as a wise man just told us not too long ago, there's not too many too much punting in high school football. So let's see what happens here. Yes, thank you, Vinny Acido. For those words of wisdom. All right, so we got uh it's like second and 10. The 44 yard line, 43 yard line. Lincoln's now just come out of their sideline huddle right up onto the football. Adam. So back to pass these inside handoff to number six. Goes down the left side to the 30, to the 15, to the 10, and out of bounds. Cyan Filbert. Excellent run around the left side. Filbert has a lot of, lot of energy tonight. Nice to see him out there running like that. So hurrying up offense. Placing the ball, they're ready to go. Dees in shotgun formation. Two wide receivers, one running back. Number 10, Alex Dijon Simmons in the slot. In motion, number 11. Running straight up the gut, Dees. Going down to about the six yard line. It's gonna be second and one. Inside handoff number 11. Sion Filbert. That should be a first down, making a first and goal, Lincoln. All right, so they dropped the chains. We just have the down marker now. The down markers, looks like they're on about the four yard line. We have Lewis and Nicholas inside handoff. In for the touchdown. Lincoln Rail Spreaders. Number 11, Sion Filbert. Sophomore running back, in for the touchdown. Great play, great call by the coaching staff. So Lincoln uh, lining up for two. Looking to tie the game at this point. Option, D's, run pass option, faking, throwing. Looks like he might have had it if he kept it himself around the edge there, but it could have been a design pass play as well. Okay. So we're at 14-12, Tottenville over Lincoln. In a very high scoring game. Yeah, both offenses moving the ball very well, and the defense is still trying to find their footing on both sides.
A lot of energy here tonight. Great environment for football. Once again, a wonderful atmosphere here at Abraham Lincoln High School. One of the few, one of the few schools for Friday Night Lights in our city. Thanks to our principal, Ari Hogenboom, and athletic director, Rina Nibed, who make this all happen week by week. Ball placed down. Squib kick down to the 40, taken by number five, Atonvo. No fair catch. Gets about five yards, where they'll start off Tottenville at the 45 yard line of Lincoln. Late, late flag. I think it's some type of an unsportsmanlike conduct. Waiting to hear what the refs have to say about that. Personal foul on Tottenville. They'll move him back 15 yards. And that should give them first and 10 from the 30. Tottenville 14, Lincoln 12. All right, so defense got a little bit of help there. And now let's see if they can make the stop here. So Tottenville, number two, number 22, out to the right. Shotgun formation. Quarterback number 15. Lincoln safety's given a little bit of a cushion. They're about eight yards off the ball. Cornerbacks are pressing up on the line of scrimmage, close to the line of scrimmage. Defensive linemen are now down. Linebacker set. Here we go, back to pass inside, handoff. Nothing. Met there you by go, defense. A, a host of defensive, Lincoln defensive linemen. No huddle. Again, two. Two, on the, two wide receivers on the right side, two on the left side. One running back. Back to pass, number 15, going for number two down the side. Jump. Excellent catch. Down to the Lincoln, 40-yard line, number two for Tottenville. Yeah, he was able to get that one foot in bounds. Would not have been a completion in the NFL, but college or high school, you only need one foot down in bounds. Hurrying up the Tottenville offense. Lincoln defense getting set. Back to pass. Now he's shuffling, he's moving. And Lincoln he's gonna pushes him out of, bounds out of bounds. At the Tottenville, at the Lincoln 45 yard line. Lucky to make it back to the line of scrimmage on that play. But both those long passes, the coverage was there, right? But it just that guy, that guy, that guy. Crowd's getting a little riled up here. Crowd's into it, getting excited, cheering on the Lincoln folk. Defensive linemen are getting set. Hand off, number four inside. Gets all the way down to the Lincoln 35-yard line. Which will make it third and about six. Third and six. Defense crowding here on the Lincoln sideline a little bit. Back to pass number three. Looking to the right, looking to the right. Back to pass to number 11. Again, caught by number 12 for Tottenville. He thread the needle there, threw the ball right in between two Lincoln defenders. Oh, 
A lot of first and goals this evening. From the 10. Hand off inside to number four. Mixing up the running and the passing game, Tonto is. Getting it down. Yeah, modest gain on the play. Maybe a yard or two. Yard and a half. That's second and goal from the eight. Hand off inside. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Making a third and goal from about the five yard line. Tomville mixing up both pass and run. Tried to fall forward there a little bit, but not quite enough. Well, let's see what the Lincoln defense can do here. We need a big stop. Third and goal, fake back to pass, rolling out to the right, number 15, looking, 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 passing to number 40. Feed in for another Tottenville touchdown. Big boy on the reception there. Those tight ends are getting open for Tottenville. Getting set for the extra point. May have been a penalty after the play. See the referees talking to the Lincoln defense. Let's see what the refs have to say. Looks like a sideline infraction on Tonville. Pushing him back for the extra point. Yeah, that's a substantial difference. And they're still going to try to kick it. Which will make it a 36-yard try. Interesting in PSAL. Yeah, you don't Haven't see, seen this too much. You don't see too much kick from this distance, that's for sure. And the snap. Fake. He rolls out, number 17. Passes it. Deep downfield. No good on the two-point try. I think that was a plan fake. Yeah, it got a little too fancy there, I think. But when you're moving back that far, maybe that's your only option. So it keeps us a one-score game. Tottenville 20, Lincoln 12. Yeah, plenty of time for Lincoln to come back here and tie it up before the half. Still a lot of really good energy here on the Lincoln sideline. Players are smiling. Great communication between the coaches and the players. Please remember we're also celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness Month here at Lincoln. Please, women out there, please get checked. It's very important to you and your families. As well as donate any money that you can. So the Lincoln receiving team is up on the 50-yard line, their front line. Could possibly get some action here. We've seen a couple of onside kicks. Looks like they're kind of lining up for an onside type of kick. This time they're kicking towards, looks like they'll be kicking it towards the Tottenville sideline. And let's see. Another onside kick. Oh, that oh that's a, a penalty. Early. That should be a penalty. Very good. Fi Very early. Finally comes out. Leg finally comes out. You cannot hit the opposing player within the 10 yards. So it's regardless of this, this will be a Lincoln ball. <laughs> Waiting on the rest call. It's like a battle of waving arms right now on both sides, both sidelines. And this is where the game will get a little chippy here. So 
So Lincoln ball, first down. Adam, did they pick up that flag? Looks like they give it Tottenville the ball, I think. Are they? Okay. No, nope, no, Lincoln's getting the ball. Lincoln's getting the ball. And the penalty as well. <laughs> Sorry, folks, we're waiting on the referees. This will be first and 10 in Tottenville territory. Lincoln at the 35 yard line. Right, Lincoln needs to capitalize here. Pre snap look, they got two wide receivers to the left. Filbert in the backfield with D's. Waiting on the referee signal. Certainly seems like the referees don't have anywhere to go this evening. All right, here we go. One running back in motion, number 10. Back to pass these. He's going left, going left. Runs out of bounds at about the 25, 23 yard line. That should be first and 10, Lincoln. Good play design on that play. It's like the, the motion to the right. Cleared up a little bit of room for D's to come around the left. Uh, two wide receivers to the right. D's changing the play, looking to coach D. Siena. D's running straight up the middle, cutting to the right. Corralled by the Tottenville defense, led by number 28. Lucky to get his hands on that high snap there. Good job by Dees being sure handed there. Once again, field general, he's setting up his offense, telling his wide receivers what to do. Now looking back to the running back. Inside handoff to number four. Ronaldo Lewis. Getting a few yards. Got third and eight. Back to pass, looking to the right. Oh, almost intercepted by Tottenville. Telegraph that pass, looking too much to the wide receiver. Lucky there wasn't a pick six there. Well, what do they always say? That's how defensive backs become defensive backs. They have the speed. Just can't keep the hand on the ball. He's got to look him off. Let's have somebody very far wide to the right. It's like number nine, Alphys Johnson. Filbert in the backfield with D's. The audible is in. Back to pass these, looking to the left. Rolling, rolling, running. Gets all the way down. Maybe just short of the first down. Yeah, ball popped out of his hands there. He was lucky he was able to get it back. So it's fourth down, Lincoln. It's going to be first and 10 for Tottenville. That was fourth down, sorry. Okay, so the... I guess my eyes are deceiving me, Adam. I'm sorry. That's all good. <laughs> it's all good. The Lincoln uh, defense loaded up with seniors in the defensive backfield. Giving a little bit of cushion. Defensive backs. Starting off with a handoff to number four, running around the left side. 
about four yards, making second six. Looks like the running back had a fast track there, but then closed in pretty fast by the Lincoln defense. They're switching up personnel. Swapping defensive backs to the right and left. Now back to pass. Oh, handing it off to number four, running around the right side. Gets around the corner. Hit out of bounds by number four, Ronaldo Lewis. Nice play by Lewis, closing in. Nicholas, down, ton. Nicholas had a good beat on the play, but just took the wrong angle. One step inside and just wasn't able to recover. So first and 10, Tonville from their own 30-yard line. Once again, spread in the field, Tonville offense. Back inside handoff again to number four. Falling forward ahead for about five yards, making it second and five, Tonville. So they're spreading the field again. They have two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Back to pass now, number 15, looking to the right, open, number 17, deep downfield, off of his hands, incomplete. Great coverage by number three, Emmanuel Nicholas. He lost the step there and then made it up. Got himself back in the play, great effort. Third down and six. Tottenville lining up. Quarterback number 15 calling out plays. One running back, two wide receivers to the left. Hand off to number four on third and six. Moves forward, cuts to the right, and falls forward for the first down. Just enough, just enough for the first down. So that'll be Tottenville first and 10 from their own. 42 yard line. Really mixing up well with running past Tonville. Now two wide receivers to the right side, one running back. Two wide receivers to the left as well. Back to pass, looking right, looking right. Over the middle, almost intercepted. By number four, Ronaldo Luz. Lewis has been very involved here on the defensive side of the ball. So that'll be second and 10. Again, two wide receivers on each side running, running back. Back to pass number 16, looking to the right, deep downfield to number two for Tottenville. Oh, just overthrown. He did have a step. He certainly did. That ball was on the money. He would have scored a touchdown on that play. They have some speed, Tottenville. Just need to try to put it all together. Some of the Lincoln offensive plays, chomping at the bit, getting worked up here on the sidelines, getting ready to go. They, they want to get back out there before this end of the half. So here we go, third and 10, Tottenville. Back to pass quarterback, looking right, scrambling, scrambling right, looking downfield, scrambling some more. Now All right. the Lincoln defense. Oh, no, they didn't even get him down yet. Turn. Wow. Full. Wow. I'd say he ran about 15, 20 yards on that play. For no gain. Or maybe they lost half a yard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, they're yes. back. They're back to the line of scrimmage. Timeout. Great time for a timeout. After all that running, Lincoln could certainly they had the timeout to burn. They might as well just give their players a minute to catch their breath and uh, get some water.
Tell you the defensive backs are getting the workout tonight. A very eventful first half, Adam. Yeah, it's been it's been exciting first half. The clock reads 30 seconds, 31 seconds. So I'd well, have to say it's pretty close to that. Definitely need to make the stop here. Fourth and ten. So Coach O'Connor rallying the troops here, trying to make sure we get this stop on fourth down. So our Tonville Pri Pirates coming from South Staten Island. That's Luton Avenue. <laughs> Head coach Brian Neville and assistant coach Joseph Maraconda with an excellent game plan. And they rush up to the line of scrimmage. Trying to catch Lincoln off. Back to punt. Shifting again. Quarterback. A lot of motion. Fourth and 10. Punt formation. Oh! oh uh, and there's a penalty on the play. And the court. Lincoln might have went off sides. Had a good jump. Maybe a little too good. Big call. Waiting on the referees. Still haven't seen any. The punter's down. Any signaling. I think that's the play who landed on the ball. He kind of got folded up by a couple of Lincoln guys. That might be the end of the half. Hoping this play is okay. Tottenville player down. There's a couple of athletic trainers tending to him and the coach. So referees are going to set the ball, so we'll get another play here. I think we're still waiting on the flag. It'll take a couple minutes. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be an illegal shift on Tonville, which of course Coach O'Connor will decline. More importantly, player seems to be walking off. First down, Lincoln. All right, so great field position to close out the first half here. Let's see if they could dial up a play to get it in the end zone. These are the situations that you dream about. This is this is the way you want the ball at, at this juncture of the game. All right, coaches. Coach Litvak, Coach De Siena. Let's get one here. From the 12 yard line. D's lining everyone up. Late entry, Jaleel Smith running onto the field. Nicholas to the right side. Philbert in the backfield. Yeah, not exactly sure what the holdup is here, but. Play is running on and off the field up from the Lincoln side. Number 10, Alex Smith coming on. 
Here we go. In motion. Hand off to Nicholas. Running around the left side. Jet uh -oh. sweep with nowhere to go. Down. Great play, number five, Tonville. Linking back to the 26-yard line. Big loss on the play. Need a sense of urgency here as we close the half. Waiting on the play. Good play call. Not the right execution. Didn't have the blocking up front. Let's see what Dees has here. Two wide receivers to the right, one running back behind. Back to pass, Dees looking to the left, screen pass. Number five. Going down the left side, number five. And he's gonna go in, is he gonna make it? Number five. Zach he's in for a touchdown. Daniels. Touchdown, Lincoln. All right. Excellent setup screen. Great play call. Great execution. That time they had the blocking. Somebody in the stand saying that's big, and they are not kidding. We need these two points now. Lincoln needs these two points. And that sh will be timeout. timeout. Another great time to call a timeout and make sure you get these two points on the board and tie the game up to end the first half. That's the ball set on the three-yard line. And we're waiting to see what the play call is for the two-point conversion. So the temperatures dropped one degree. We're at 54 degrees now. It's always a little windy down here. Lincoln High School field. Okay, here we go. We have one wide receiver to the right. Daniels. D's flanked. By number 10, Dijon Smith. And number late, 13 running late entry in onto again, the field. Jaleel Smith. Now they're set. Back to pass, Dees. Nicholas Runs in motion. To the right. No signal yet. No signal now. And it's a in signal. for two. Tie ball game. There we go. So the score is 20 to 20. Close out the first half here. Looks like the ground game of Lincoln is matching the passing game of Tonville High School. Keeping the crowd engaged in the game. Great to hear that energy tonight. Substitution here in the kicking game. Lincoln's tried a couple of line drive kicks here tonight. Let's see what they do if they try to put it a little deeper. Kicker Damian Ramirez, number 71. First couple games, Damian was kicking the ball very deep. Tonight's just been a couple of shorter kicks. Maybe they're trying to keep the ball out of the speeds this hands at a deep down by the 10. So another squib caught by Tonville at the 50-yard line by number 13. Going for an onside there. It was kicked right to the 10-yard mark. So if it would have came off the receiver's hands, it could have been Lincoln's ball. It was not a bad try there. Probably only a couple seconds left in the first half. 
So ladies and gentlemen, we do play the guessing game with the clock. Let's see what Tonville's gonna do. Two raw receivers to the right. One to the, two to the left and one running back. Shotgun number 13. Quick pass to the outside number 11. Running out of bounds. Very close to the first down marker. Obviously, you want to play the sideline side game here at this point because it's going to stop the clock every time the player makes it out of bounds. Look to see probably another quick sideline pass. Not to take too much time off the clock, but get a couple, chip away at a couple of yards. Remember, Tottenville does use that kicking game. The late substitution, sending off number two, bringing back in number 12. Twelve's up on the line. Back to pass, looking to the left, rolling to the right, going deep. He has going a man number 12, a little all. short, comes back to the ball, and incomplete. And that's the end of the first half. The score 20 to 20. In a fun filled first half we've had, Adam. Yes, action packed, you know, great game. Let's see what the second half brings. So we'll step away and be right back with the second half after this live from Abraham Lincoln High School.
Unside and they're kick. on it. Looks they're good. on it. They're on it. So, interesting beginning to the first second half. Tonville with another onside kick, this time successful. As we go into the third quarter, all tied up. Lincoln 20, Tottenville 20. Tottenville starting off with excellent field position here in the second half. Decent execution of the onside play. I don't know if the ball was ever even touched by a Lincoln player. It went across the 10 yards and they kind of pounced on it. Okay, Tottenville coming out like they did in the first half. Two wide receivers each side are running back behind number 15. Shotgun formation. Inside handoff. Couple of yards. Good penetration and nice play by Alex Simmons. 30, third and eight, uh, second and eight, sorry. It did say third and eight. Now it says second. Check. Running around the right side, number four. Flag on the play from the backfield. A couple of yards again. Probably be called back. Holding on the offense, as it usually is from the backfield. Okay, first they giveth, now they taketh away. Bring up second and 18. Here we go. Tonvo ready to go. Second and 18. Back to pass, looking left. Oh, it is picked up. off by number four, Ronaldo Lewis. All, and he's going to take it all the way to the house. Huge play, Rolando Lewis, number four. Senior from Lincoln, pick six. On an ill-fated pass to the flat on the left. That's the type of play that can change a game. Great play by the Lincoln defense. Got a great break on the ball. Let's see if they could punch it in the two now. So one more receiver on each side. Running back flank. Hand off inside. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Waiting for the signal, and that's a two-point conversion. Number five, Zechariah Daniels. Lincoln up 28-20. So Lincoln takes their first lead of the game here in early stages of the second half. And the smiles continue here on the Lincoln sideline. A lot of good energy. Just need to keep that moving in that same direction. <coughs> Kicking team out on the field. Huddling around kicker Ramirez. So we're picking up right where we left off. A wonderful first half. A lot of action starting right off in the second half as well. Kicking teams back, ready to put the ball up. Squib kick. Lincoln's got it. 
battle of onside kicks. Waiting for the ref, waiting for the ref. Yes, signaling Lincoln with an onside kick of their own. Very we'll interesting kick selection there. Typically an onside kick will be kicked towards the sideline, toward the right or the left, where you have your speedsters and your hands team on that particular side. This ball was rifled right up the middle, bounced right off the leg of one of the unsuspecting Tottenville players. And Lincoln's gonna start in Tottenville territory at the 49 yard line. First and 10. Time to build a lead. One wide receiver each side. Slot number three, Emmanuel Nicholas. Back to pass. Dees looking deep downfield, going for number 10. Just a little bit overthrown. Meant for number 10, Alex Dijon Simmons. Not really a surprise there. We always see teams go for the home run ball after a turnover or after a big play. So let's see what they dial up here on second down. Something more of a modest gain, I would assume. Second and 10, barking out plays. Again, one right receiver each side. Running back in motion. Screen pass to number four. Is that behind the line of scrimmage? No, I think it was a forward pass. Intended for number four, Ronaldo Lewis. Third and 11. We have to capitalize. All right, Lincoln needs to settle in here. They're getting up on the ball. They have the energy. Waiting for the play, calling out signals these. Back to pass, looking downfield. Number five. Setting screen up the screen pass. pass. To number 11, fighting. Back to the line of scrimmage. Number 11, Sion Filbert. That'll make it fourth down. So it looked like Lincoln's gonna punt here. That's D's back to punt. Let's go. Want to set up good field position and protect your lead right now. So hopefully we can get a decent punt. The snap. The kick. It's a good, good kick. kick. Bouncing at the 20. Still bouncing, number four, waiting, waiting. Downs it, excellent kick at about the two yard line. That's number four, Ronaldo Lewis, where Tonville will start off first and 10 from their own two yard line. Yeah, certainly the right idea, let that ball bounce, get it all the way down, as deep into Tottenville territory as possible. So Lincoln, with their two split formations. Inside handoff. He's still rumbling. First Got down on a play. The it's kind of an odd play deal. It looks like he was kind of gobbled up at the line of scrimmage, but then the, the pack kept moving. Enough for the first down. Rumbling, stumbling. <laughs> Another handoff. Not as much rumbling that time. 
a little bit more stumbling as it's about second and seven. As they got ahead for about three to four yards. Hurrying up. Hand off again. Right up the middle, number four, cutting to the right side. Pushing, pushing, all the way down to the Tottenville 42 yard line where it'll be first and 10. That was some hole they opened up there in the offensive line. That was, drive a truck through that hole. Keep it going. Running right through the middle, number four, for Tottenville, into Lincoln territory. Another first down at the Lincoln 46 yard line. Rail split is need, the rail splitters need to come up with a stop here. It's certainly time. Need a big defensive play here. Another handoff towards the right side. Gang tackle. Number four from Tonville. Should be second and about six. Tonville staying on the ball, making a quick substitution. Handoff number four down the left side, around the corner. Getting down to about the Lincoln 36 yard line. First and 10, Donville. Keep chipping away. Another play, another first down. Keep holding. Excellent tackle by number 57, big, Christian Pilgrim. Big hit, big hit. Junior from Lincoln. <coughs> Definitely the type of play you need to get the team pumped up and get the defense back on their feet. Need another stop here. Third and eight, Tonville. Handing off to number 21 for Tonville, fighting his way ahead. Looks like he'll be short of the first down. Good second effort there. Bring a fourth down. I think, fourth down, Adam? Mm, it's like third okay. and three. Third and three, okay. Third and three. Side handoff number 21 again, fighting his way forward. Should be enough for the first down. Definitely enough for the first down on that play. Moving the chains again. Tottenville chugging along, all on the ground. Around the left side through the hole, number 21 running down. Another first down. Down to about the 20 yard line of Lincoln. Tonville directly opposite from the first half where they passed their way, they're now running their way. They actually have the ball on a 12 yard line. First, first and 10 from the 12. Running again, number four. Finding his way down the left side, inside. And it's gonna be another first down. This is timeout time. First and goal, Tottenville. I'm very surprised Lincoln's not calling a timeout here to try to slow them down a little bit. Third and goal from the four. Eight. 
in motion. Quarterback sneak right up the gut. In for the touchdown. Good play, good play design and good call setting up the play. They fake to the man in motion. Opened up the inside right between the tackles. Going for two. Number four, fighting his way in. Waiting for a signal. Waiting for a signal. No signal yet. And there we go. They're calling a signal. We got a tie ball game. Hold on to your hats, folks. 28-28, Tottenville Lincoln. <coughs> Time for the Lincoln offense to come back out onto the field and play their part now. Unfortunately, sensing a little frustration on the Lincoln sideline here. They need to pull that back together, keep their heads in the game here. At this point, it's anyone's game to win. Who wants it more? Okay, so 28-28 ball game, halfway through the third quarter. Like it's got two deep men on a 20, 20 yard line. Probably not needed, looks like another onside kick coming right up. Pooch kick. It's and he's going, he's going, he's going, uh, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. 40, 30, 20, 10, 9, 5, touchdown number four, Ronaldo Lewis. Just like that, Ty Lincoln responds, 34, Tango 28. We told you it was going to be a high scoring game, folks. There's a penalty on the play. I, I, now I see the flag on the field. I assume there was a penalty because I saw the referees having a small conference. So it looks like they're going to bring that back. It's going to be first and 10 from the 35 yard line. Group Lincoln. As we start the 36 yard line, first and 10. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Filbert next to these. In motion, fake left, throw left to number five. Running Good to the setup. 50, to he the 40, turning on the Jets to the 30, to the 20, out running number five and slips. Flag on the play, very late flag on the play. I hope he's not hurt. 
all the way down to the five yard line. It's good to see him running off the field there. I think he might have been kicked. I don't like to be an unsportsmanlike personal foul type of play. I don't think kicked his legs out from underneath him as he was running towards the sideline. I'm not sure what the call is. Waiting. Nonetheless, great field position for Lincoln, and we'll add a couple more. Half the distance to the goal. Great play call, faking to the right, throwing back left. Yeah, I like Deez's action on that play. He kind of, he, he sold that play. He made it, he made it look like so nonchalantly he was going one way and then just came back the other way. Perfect design and execution on that play. And the speedster was almost gone for the touchdown. Let's give him the ball back, try to get that in the end zone. All right, first and goal from the four-yard line. Got the Let's Go Lincoln uh, cheer from the crowd. <coughs> Dee's handoff to number three. He's Emmanuel in. Nicholas all the way in for another Lincoln touchdown. Now let's hold our breath and make sure there's no flags on the play. I don't see anything. There we go. All right, so we're going for two. Waiting for the play call from the sidelines. Hand off to number three to finish it up. Waiting for the signal for two points and another conversion for Abraham Lincoln High School. Making our score, Lincoln 36 and Tottenville 28. Okay, so an eight point lead here. Definitely need to have the defense make this one stand up. Time to make plays, defense. Number 13, Jaleel Smith was injured in the first half. He won't return today. And the defense is certainly gonna miss him. He is one of the defensive leaders. Let's see if they can band together and play for him right now. So the third quarter is not disappointing as we saw in the first half. Plenty of score and plenty of action. Kicking teams on the field. Anybody's guess what type of kick we're going to see now? We've seen all kinds throughout this game by both teams. Okay, regular line drive. Down to the 35. Falling forward to the 40, still going. Down to the 42, still fighting, still fighting. No whistle yet, still fighting, getting all the way out to the 49-yard line. Tottenville will start first and ten. Say one thing about the Tottenville running backs. They do not want to go down. They keep pumping their feet, pumping their feet. They keep churning. Let's see if Tottenville continues that ground game that they went down the field on their drive. It'd almost be silly not to. Missed on a lot of the home run plays in the first half.
Handoff number four. Crossing the 50 to the 45, down to the 40, diving forward to the 39 yard line. Number four from Tonville. That, that last spin move there, he gained about four extra yards with the spin move. We have an injured player down on the field. Lincoln player. <coughs> Athletic trainer is out there right now. Sideline physician looks like he's out on the field as well. Player running out some water. Hoping this player is okay on the field. Looks like they're going to try to get him up right now. They're lifting him up. He's getting up. It's Ramirez. He's walking off the field on his own volition. Looks like he's going to be okay. All right. Let's see what Lincoln has here. this lead hold up hopefully the defense could hold them down so three wide receivers one running back handoff again number four cutting through the middle flag on the play waiting for the referee signal holding on the offense Slowing down the Tonville offense. Yeah, the pace of the game has definitely slowed down a little bit here. You know, for a second half opened up with a barrage of scoring. A couple plays called back. Now Tonville's ready to advance. First and Ride 20. To advance. First and 20 Tonville. First and 20. Bit of a lull in the action. Yeah, Lincoln defensive lineman, one of the two of them down on a knee. Other defensive lineman there at the line of scrimmage. Defensive backs coming up close to the line of scrimmage now. Oh, so we're going to reverse the field, and we're going to start the fourth quarter. With the score, Lincoln Rail split is 36. The Tottenville Pirates, 28. All right, so the ball is placed down. Well, it was placed down. Now they're moving it again. Okay, let's make sure we get it all right here. All right, so it's going to be go. first and 20 for the Tottenville Pirates. Let's see if the rail splitters can get a stop here. So Tottenville's got two wide receivers to the right. Two wide receivers to the left. And one running back to the left-hand side of number 15, the quarterback. Looks like the referee's going to let him play now. Awaiting the shotgun snap. Four-man front for Lincoln. Ball snap. Handed off up the middle. Number four. Breaking tackles. Taken down by number 52. Gain Caleb Houston. Nine yards on the play. Still opening up those holes on the left side. The Tonville offensive line led by number six and number 77. Yes, they have two wide receivers to the short side of the field. Two wide receivers to the long. 15 takes the snap, hands it off to number four. And he gains about five yards on the play. 
ran right up into the back of one of his offensive linemen. Should bring us to about third and six. Not gonna lie, never liked the way that felt. But if it would help the team win, I'll gladly take it. Okay, two wide receivers to the right, two to the left. Number four has now moved to the right side of the quarterback. He's awaiting the shotgun snap. Faking a blitz. Back to the left-hand side. Ball snap, hand off up the middle. Looks like number four has bopped it around to the outside. He's going to have enough for a first down. Gain of about eight yards on the play. Going to be first and ten from the 25-yard line of Lincoln. Let's see, hope the Lincoln defenders don't give too much of a cushion here. I'm waiting for the shotgun snap. Ball's handed off to number four again. He's running off tackle. He's got a little room to run. A gain of about nine yards on the play. Whether it's the right side or the left side, defensive Lincoln has to get up there. From my vantage point, it looked like nine yards, but I guess it was 11. So it is going to be first and 10 from the 15-yard line. Another man down for Lincoln. A lot of injuries tonight. Hoping these players can all bounce back and keep themselves in the game. Injury doesn't look to be too serious. Coaching staff is walking away. Referees are kind of standing over the player, which seems a little odd. Athletic trainer now tending to the down player. So we're in the early stages of the fourth quarter. Lincoln has an eight-point lead. And Tottenville has been driving, so Hopefully Lincoln can make the stop here, get a turnover, get the ball back, take it back down the other direction. We'll see what happens. All right, play is up. Injured player Ronaldo Lewis, who had that pick six before at the end of the second quarter, walking off under his own power. Well, it's good to see him walking off the field on his own. It will certainly hurt the defense if he's not able to get back out on the field. He's been a, a big contributor this evening. All right. Defense is up on the ball. They're missing some of their key players right now, and this is when underclassmen need to fill in. Step up, help the team win. Flag down. Most likely offsides. Came in before the ball was snapped. Right as the ball was snapped. Waving the flag off. No flag on the play. No flag on the play. Picking it up. First and 10 from the 16 yard line. Cottonville quarterback looking to the sideline, waiting for the call. He's got two wide receivers to the, excuse me, two wide receivers to the right, wide side of the field. One wide receiver to the left. He's got number four behind him in the back, number 21 in the backfield. He's brought down from behind. Another, another late flag. It would be called for a horse collar tackle. I think that's the call. He kind of yanked the offensive player down. Pretty, pretty fast. Looks like, are they waving it off? They're waving this one off too. We're not exactly sure what the call is here. Chains have it moved. Down marker has it moved. Still showing second and 10. Referees have certainly become more of a focal point here in the second half of the football game. Slowing this part of the game down to a snail's pace. 
Still we're waiting to hear what the call is. They're going to move the ball forward. Five yards. Half the distance. Ooh, a little more than that. I don't understand what happened there. All right, so it's going to bring up third and a short, and about a half a yard from the nine. <coughs> okay. A little misdirection play, play and a great play by the Lincoln defense. They're driving him back. Number 57 All right. again. Christian Pilgrim and his friends driving the quarterback back. That's a second. Fabulous play by Christian Pilgrim today. Making his mark on the Tottenville High School offense. That's Thanksgiving for all the rail split of defense right there. All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like about third and six. Third and six from the nine. Yard line. And another penalty on the play. That should be a full start on the offense. Offsides. On defense, sorry. Defense has got to hold it together here. All right, they're going to move him up again. Still not going to be first and goal. It's going to be third and one. Third and one, third and one. All right. Quarterback 15 is moving under up on the center. He's looking for the quarterback sneak. Pushing him, pushing him. A little, him. Bit, of a, little bit of a stretch. I think they're going to make it to stop here. Getting for a signal? No. He broke through from the pile. Very He's going to have flag. enough for the first down, and then there's going to be a penalty on the play as well. Not getting, sure which way it's going. Getting chippy at him as we get to the latter stages of this game. As each team fights for their seeding in the PSAL playoffs. All right, so this is going to most likely bring up a first and goal play here for Tottenville. Just waiting to hear what the referees signal. All right, so it's going to be first and goal from the one-yard line. The Lincoln's got their defense pretty much bunched up. They're in a somewhat of a goal line defense. There's two wide receivers to the short side of the field. Cornerbacks, are, defensive backs are pressed up on them. We have one wide receiver all the way to the left. Number 15 is up on the center. And another penalty on the play. My goodness, this seems to be a penalty on every play here. And it's on Lincoln. And we'll move them up half the, difference, half the distance to the goal, so that'll be less than a yard for a touchdown. I suspect they will run a quarterback sneak here. Let's see what they do. They do not. A quick handoff. And... Waiting Don't for a referee see. signal. There, there we go. go. Touchdown. Touchdown, Tonville. Okay, so now does Tonville elect to go for two <coughs> and tie up the game, or do they kick as they've been kicking throughout the course of the entire game? Looks like they're going to keep the offense on the field and go for the two. Probably about halfway through the fourth quarter here. It would be amazing to see the game tied up again. A lot of offense tonight. All right, so they're going to go for two. They're bringing two wide receivers over to the left, one wide receiver to the right. Sending a player in motion. Quarterback's going to take the snap up the middle, keep the ball in for the two. And the ball game is tied, 36-36. Getting a little bit of a rise out of the crowd. 
We need to get a rise out of the Lincoln offense now and get them moving down the field. So Adam, let me take you back to 2013 at Yankee Stadium, where Lincoln High School defeated Tottenville 28-27 in the championship. And believe it or not, Carmelo Gracci, a long snap on a punt sailed right over Salvador Enrique's head into the end zone, where he kicked the ball out of bounds for safety, which gave Tottenville a 28-27 lead with 4.43 to play. They ran out the clock and won the championship. They captured their second city title in three years and third overall championship in school history. Yeah, it certainly sounds like it was an exciting game. It culminated a, a perfect season for the Lincoln High School Rail Spurs. All right, so kicking team, Tonneville kicking team is out on the field now. Looks like we're going to have another onside. I'd be amazed, but it looks like they are going to. Yep, they're doing that same 10-yard kick and same getting the ball back after 10 yards. Again, Lincoln, Link. we have to move up to the 10. We cannot stay back. Waiting on the referees again. Did they touch the ball before 10 yards? They might have touched the ball before the 10 yards. Let's see what the, that's what people in the crowd are saying. Oh, there you go. Lincoln's okay. football. Lincoln football. They almost have that play timed down perfect, though. They very, very close, Tottenville, to perfecting that play. That could be a dangerous play for them moving forward in the season. But tonight, they're just a little too fast, a little too fast for it. All right, so now this is Lincoln's time to really take control of the game. And I've said that a couple times here, but um, you know, they are missing a couple key players on defense. So let's see if the offense can eat up some clock and get the ball in the end zone and get, get the lead back. All right, so Dees has two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. It's like he has Filbert in the backfield with him. He just hands the ball off to Filbert, and unfortunately he's met at the line of scrimmage. That Tottenville defense, led by number 28, number 8, and number 3. And they are not giving him forward progress on the play. They are actually going to move him back. Not exactly sure about that call by the referee there. Second and 13. Second and 13, two wide receivers to the right, two to the left. Filbert in the backfield to the right side of these pistol formation. Dees is back to pass. He's going for it all. Oh, he's got two people. Play. Oh, my goodness. Right off the fingertips. Number 10, Dij Alex Dijon Simmons. Two men were in the same place. Two men, four hands, no catch. It's going to bring up third and 13. Great throw by Dees. Okay, so third and long. This is... All right, Coach DeSiena, what do you got? Let's go. Getting down to crunch time here. All right, so... Ball's pl placed on the right hash. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Felbert in the back. Dees just gets the... Blitz snap. coming by Tonville. He breaks. Break. He's, got him, he's got Wide him, he's got him! Wide Number open, five. and the catch! He's Zechariah got the ball. Daniels. Zechariah Daniels with the catch on a wonderful throw and catch. Looked like it was going to be a broken play, but Dees kept it together. Wonderful throw and catch. Lincoln will have it first and 10. All right, so they're going to have the ball first and 10 from the 14. Looks like it's the 14 yard line, yes. That's what D's waiting for the shotgun snap. Now he's gonna look to the sideline for the play call. Filbert's gonna move to his left. Wide receiver one on one on the right side. That's it, he's throwing the ball out. Just short. Intended for number three, Emmanuel Nicholas. No, 
All right, so we're waiting for the play from the offense now. Lincoln offensive linemen are going to get back up on the ball. Dees is getting into his shotgun formation. He's got twins left, single receiver to the right. Phil Belt in the backfield, pistol formation. Phil Burton in motion. Dees is going to keep the ball himself up the middle. He's got a little bit of room to run. Hopefully enough for the first down. Let's see where they are. Yes, he's going to get the first down. First That's and bring goal, up Lincoln. First and goal from the four-yard line. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I guess I didn't have the greatest vantage point. It looks like he would pass the sticks there, but now he's about a half of a yard short. So it's going to bring up third and a half of a yard for huge, first down. Uh, huge play. Third and short from the four-yard line. Okay, so we got two wide receivers to the right. Ball snap. Ball's handed off the middle to Nicholas. Nicholas is going to get in the end zone for a touchdown. Straight up the gut. Just what the doctor ordered. Emmanuel Nicholas once again. Great job by Dees to keep the offense all together there. All right, they're going to go for two. Go for the maximum. See what we can get here. We got two wide receivers to the right. Emmanuel Nicholas to the left-hand side of Dees. He gets the snap, hands the ball off. Straight up the middle. Looks like he's got enough to get it in. There we go. And a two-point conversion is good. 44-36 rail splitters. So a great mixture of run and pass. Lincoln High School drives right down the field once again in this high-scoring affair. Now it's up to the defense. Once again, time for a big stop. Let's make some plays, defense. Come on. Good to see big number 13 back on the sideline here with the players. Let's see what kind of kick Lincoln wants to put up. It's definitely the game of adventures of kickoffs. We've seen pop-ups. We've seen onside kicks. Let's see what's next. We've seen line drives, balls booted off the shortstop's ankle. My vote would be for a deep one right now. Tottenville offense looked like they were pretty much moving the ball pretty good on the last possession. So I'd like to try to pin them as deep as possible right now. But the problem with that is they have a couple of speeds this deep. So they have two players lined up, camped out on the 20-yard line waiting for a deep kick. Ramirez has enough leg to get it past both of them. So we've seen that in the last couple weeks. It's a ground, ground ball kick. up the middle. Pounced on by Tottenville. Number 22 from Tottenville. So look at the ball on the 40-yard line. Maybe our first clean kickoff in a while. Yes, it's certainly been adventures in kicking this evening. All right, so Tottenville offense is going to come out on the field. They... Move the ball very well the last time around. Let's see if we can get a stop here on defense. As I said, Lincoln's missing a couple of key players on defense. Some of their defensive leaders. Well, let's see what we can do. And number 13 in motion. 15 takes the handoff, hands it off to number 4 around the tackle on the outside. He's going to gain about 11 yards, possibly 12 on first down. That Taking the ball into Lincoln territory. Those Tonville runners do not give up. Well, they churn the legs, and they just find that little crease right off the tackle. Tonville looking for their second win of the season. Right, Tonville staying up on the ball now. Most of the teams in this division do run a hurry-up offense. Ball snap, quick handoff up the middle. Number four. Taken down. Make it second and six. Again, they're right up on the ball. 
football's on a 45-yard line, just into Lincoln territory. They have one wide receiver to the left, two to the right. They're bringing a, rod, a runner in motion, number 11. Hand the ball off to number four. And as he broke through the line, he almost had, just got tripped up. Just got tripped up by a Lincoln defender. But if he would have made it past that last guy, he was gone. He's got some speed, number four. Let's watch out for Christian Pilgrim. Already two huge plays in the game. Isaiah Birch. Number 11 in motion again. Now they handed the ball up the hey. middle. Stuffed. Good tackle. High tackle, but good tackle. And Flag on the play. It's against Lincoln. I'm going to walk him up. A lot of penalties this evening. Walk him up five yards. And we're going to replay first down, it looks like. First and five, Tonga. Same formation, same motion, same handoff. Just the number 20 this time. We're going to be close to the first down. Yeah, looks like he's got it. Stop was number 71, and Steven uh, Ramirez. Referees signaling for a first down, so they're going to move the chains. Excuse me, that's Damian Ramirez. All right, so that's going to bring up first and 10 from the 25-yard line. Who's going to step up? Number 15 hands the ball there off to go. number 5. And he's met by a Lincoln sandwich at the line of scrimmage. Tackle for about a half, a loss of about a half a yard on the play. Number 57, Christian Pilgrim once again. All right, Totten goes up on the ball. Two wide receivers to the short side of the field. They're bringing 11 back in motion again. And they're going to run the ball back to the right-hand side with number four. And he dives ahead. With his dive, I think he's got enough for the first down. I think so. It looks like Tottenville's going to take a time bill. Uh, timeout, Tottenville. So in the latter stages of the fourth quarter, it's Lincoln, 44, Tottenville, 36. Just waiting to see which team is going to come up with the big play to put the game away. The way Tottenville's been moving the ball, Lincoln's going to have to come up with a huge play to stop them here. Just keep inching closer and closer to the goal line and taking those precious seconds off the clock. So Tottenville's out of their timeout huddle. Looks like they're going to come up to the line of scrimmage. They have their play dialed up. They're ready to go. A little bit of movement on the offensive line here. They're moving some of their players around. Lincoln's out of their defensive huddle, moving up to getting up to the line of scrimmage now. Looks like Tottenville is not going to run number 11 in motion to the left this time because he's actually lined up on the left. Now he's going to motion to the right. Number 15 does, motioning back again in the other direction. They're going to hand the ball off to number four around the outside on the right-hand side. Out of, out of bounds, stopping the clock. Referees are trying to set the ball fast because they see that these teams want to move. So Tottenville is going to bring two wide receivers to the left. And looks like they're running one of them back to the right, number 13. So they have two to the right, one very wide to the left. Quarterback number 14 has one running back behind him. Number 15, excuse me. He's Run pass option. Like it's, uh, Straight up the middle. Quarterback draw. Stop by number 11, 
Cyan Filbert. Decent gain on the play. We'll bring up second and one from the six yard line. Pushing him forward. Quarterback sneak action again. Enough for the first down. And timeout, Tottenville. Well, these timeouts tell me that there's not a lot of time left on the clock. Not exactly sure how much time is left, but certainly not a lot. Game clock shows 33 seconds. Got to be something close to that. So after a first half of uh, lots of passing, Tonville has st stuck strictly to the run in the entire second half. I'm sure that's what we're going to see now. Yeah, they they missed on they missed on a lot of uh, a, a lot of long plays in the long tries in the first half, I should say. And um, they've had a lot of success running the ball off tackle here in, in the second half. So Lincoln really needs to come up with some play right here and just get a big stop and end this game on a positive note. All right, so Lincoln is coming out of there. Defensive timeout huddle, getting up onto the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker than last time. I like that. Okay, go. Okay, kids. Coach D. Siena, let's get him going. Okay, so Tottenville offense has the ball. First, First and goal. Lincoln sideline is calling for the fans to cheer. They got a player in motion. Back out to the other side. They're going to hand the ball off. Spreading him out. Flag and on the play. There's a flag on the play. Most likely holding him up. from where the flag came out. Lincoln had that play figured out. I see some of the Lincoln players cheering, clapping. Looks like it is going to be that holding call. Let's back them up. Good to see the Lincoln faithful getting into it here. Brings a smile to my face. PSAL at its finest. All right, so they're backing them up. Not sure. If, I think it's second down. So yeah. So it looks like it's going to be second and goal from the nine. No, second and goal from the 13 yard line. And timeout. The referees are sorting this out. Timeout, Tottenville. So that's their third and final timeout. Lincoln coaching staff getting out to their players. I mean, this, this plays for all the marbles here. There can't be too much time left on the clock. So there's two quick plays. They need to be ready to get back up onto the line of scrimmage and be ready to play two or three plays. Because you would think at this juncture that Tottenville will be calling at least two plays in their huddle. One play to play off the other. So they're going to try to set up the second play. If they don't have success on the first play, and it really all comes down to the Lincoln defense getting the stop and taking this game home for the win. Okay, Lincoln, who wants this more? Let's go. All right, Lincoln defenders clapping their hands, getting themselves psyched up. Certainly the time to be into it. So they have one of their wide receivers, number 12, all the way to the far sideline, to the left-hand side. They have yes, two wide receivers goodness. right. Crowd's getting into it. 15 takes the snap. He fumbles Fumble. the snap. Step back. He stepped back. He throws. He's got somebody in the end zone. Waited for the signal from the, looks like he caught it. And it's a touchdown. Touchdown on a broken play. A play. It's almost like the defenders let up once he dropped the ball. Sometimes you freeze in that situation. The ball did bounce right back up into his hand, so they, it did take a Tottenville bounce. Lincoln could still win the game here if they stop the two-point conversion. Has, Tottenville's going has to go for their two. And so now they're moving the ball to the left hash. Nice 
So now they're going to have two wide receivers to the right on the long side of the field. They're going to have one wide receiver to the left on the short side. 15 and four in the backfield. Four is going to take the handoff. And he runs it in for the two-point conversion. The game is tied. Looks like we're going to get some free football this evening. So the game is tied, 44-44. Waiting to hear how much time is left on the clock. Right around that left side, once again, number three for Tonville. Lincoln needs to keep their heads up here. They can still get the ball back and score. Just waiting to see if there is any time left on the clock. I haven't seen them pick up the ball yet, but there is a conference by the referees on the 15-yard line. Game is not lost yet. The, the message needs to be positive here. The, this is still their game to win. Nobody should have their head down right now. So, say, I think by the referee conference that the game has, fourth quarter has ended. They're calling the athletic trainers out on the field. Calling the athletic trainer, the Lincoln athletic trainer and the doctor onto the field. I don't know if they're going to check one of the Tottenville players, possibly. I don't, not exactly sure. Looks like the Tottenville player is down on the bench over there. So, you know, it's unfortunate to see injuries for any of these players. So, so the game has ended. Regulation has ended. The score is 44-44. Currently waiting for the coin toss for the overtime. So the Lincoln captains are walking out to the center field for the Lincoln logo. So at this point, the referees kind of explain how the overtime works, what the overtime rules are to the players. They're all shaking each other's hands. It's a sign of good sportsmanship. And coin toss will go up and look to call heads or tails, and then we'll see who wins it and who wants it more. Who wins the coin toss? Who wants to win the game? So as I just mentioned, it, right now the referees are just explaining to the football players how the, the overtime rules and how it works. And now I'm going to show them the coin, heads and tails, the coin's up. Looks like Lincoln has won the coin toss. Yes. Looks like Lincoln will get the ball first. And that's always what you want in an overtime setting. You always want to have the ball. And you always want to move that ball as much as you can in the first possession of overtime. All right, so we're, it's time for a shootout. So overtime rules, each side gets the ball from the 25 on the 20 yard line. And All right, so four tries, four tries to get the ball in. So here we go. Again, overtime rules in PSAL. Team starts at the 20-yard line. And if they win, win and if they score, the other team gets the same opportunity. It 
All right, so Lincoln's going to get the ball first and 10 from the 20-yard line, moving towards the north end zone. One wide receiver to the right, two running backs in the backfield. Dees hands the ball off. And it's a decent run. Couldn't see who had the ball. I want to say it's probably Filbert, but it's either Filbert or Nichols. It was Filbert. With a gain of five yards on the play, so it's going to bring up second. Maybe four yards, second and six. Pulling around the left side behind number 51, Shamar Douglas, and number 50, Emmanuel Frasto. So we've got one wide receiver split all the way to the right. Three, three running backs in the backfield. Nicholas takes the ball, takes the handoff. He's moving ahead. Looks like he's going to have almost enough for the first down. So that's going to bring up third and one. So Lincoln's got the ball. Third down on the 12-yard line. Third and two from the 12 in the shootout overtime. Nicholas takes the stab. He, Nicholas takes the handoff. He's right. Oh, no. He had a touchdown. The ball popped out of his hands. Oh, heartbreak city. Crushing, folks. Oh, wide open. In, he was in for the touchdown. The ball just popped out of his hands and went backwards. So it looks like <coughs> going to bring up. Should be fourth down fourth and goal. Fourth down. Well, it's it's going to be fourth. About eight. Fourth and eight from the 18-yard line. All right, this is it. This is the play. We have one wide receiver to the right. Dees takes the snap. He's pumping back. Now he's got he's got some room to run. He's going to throw the ball. He's got a receiver in the back of the end zone. And he's in. I can't see what's. I think he. I want to say it's a touchdown, but I don't see any. He might have been out of bounds in the back of the end zone. I didn't see any. Our vantage point is not the greatest. So, looks yep. like it's time for the defense to step up and make a stop now. Tottenville's had a lot of success moving the ball here in the second half. So they're going to take over on downs. They're going to have the ball now. First and 10 from the 20-yard line. Number 15 takes a shotgun snap, hands the ball off to number four. He's around the outside. He's got a little bit of room to run. He's going to get the ball all the way down towards the goal line. No indication from the ref. It's going to be first down. So it's going to be first and goal from the one-yard line. A lot of room around that left side, sealing off the blocks. Number 76, number 51 for Tottenville. All right, so they're down on the ball here. They got two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. It's going to be a quarterback sneak up the middle. Whistle, whistle blow, whistle blow. All right, so there's no play. Well, it's just waiting to hear from the referees what the play is, what the call is on the play. Like it's still first down on the down marker. Two wide receivers to the right. I suspect we'll see a little quarterback sneak action again. He's got the ball. A quick handoff to number four, and he's in for the touchdown. And the game is over, folks. Lincoln loses a heartbreaker. In a thriller here from Abraham Lincoln High School in overtime. Tonville Pirates 50. The Lincoln High School Rail Splitters, 44. It's like players on the Lincoln sideline are in disbelief.
Well, it was a great game and a high scoring affair. And certainly a couple of little things that Lincoln needs to clean up here and move forward for the remainder of the season. What a fantastic game, Adam. It was a great game. It lived up to the hype. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much to our viewers. Thank you to our crew, my wonderful announcing team. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We got one more game at home this season against New Utrecht one week from tonight, and then there is a game on November 10th. I believe we are away at Canarsie. We'll see what Lincoln can do with those two games. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Special thanks to Peter Andrews for making us look so good. See you next Friday. <laughs>